Hello, lovely people. You can see me there. Hello. Today, what I'm going to show you is why doors are shit compared to kicks and why kicks are always said they're superior location compared to the doors. I wanted to do this video for quite a while and I couldn't figure out how to actually translate and how to show you that because you can't really play music with the doors and with the kicks and just tell the difference through the camera microphone and stuff. So I figured out a way how to actually show you with RTA. So uh, just a little bit of a background, what I have in the doors and in the kicks. So the speakers are not the same and it's kind of maybe it's not a fair comparison, but the speakers are very quality. So in the doors, I have Illusion Audio C6, six and a half mid bass drivers that have a lot of X Max and they're super expensive. They're quality drivers so that we know that if we're going to see any distortion or anything is going to be not from the driver itself. In the kick, I have one audio MB8, which is eight inch mid bass drivers and they're mounted infinite baffle. There's a hole in there. One is venting through the side and under the wheel well. And the other one uh, has a hole cut there and it vents outside as well through the wheel well. Now the doors, it's, it doesn't have an extortionate amount of dead in it because I really didn't want to invest a lot in the doors. So the doors are, uh, I don't know if you saw any of my previous videos, they are deadened. The inner skin is deadened. The outer skin is deadened. The door card is deadened and there's a foam in between. The holes, like the axis holes, all are covered with a dead inner and the speaker itself is mounted on 25 mil MDF ring and it doesn't move. Everything is solid, everything is fine, but with the doors, the main thing that everybody knows that the doors rattle all the time. Everything that you have in the doors, like the lock over there, all of these, so these, they're not rattling because what I did with these, I took it apart and I put felt tape in between in every single gap because these were rattling like mad. But now, see, they're, they're not rattling at all. But we still have stuff rattling inside because you have the window mechanism and everything. And that's the question. Can you hear that while playing music or not? Because some people say, oh, all the high frequencies are masking everything. Eh, kind of, but at the same time, no. So I'm going to show you with RTA. It's going to be a definite proof how kick location is better. Now, in the kicks, whatever I have, I have zero dead in it. There's nothing. It's just the speakers are mounted with aluminum rings bolted to the actual car frame and there is no dead in it anywhere. I don't have MLV. I don't have anything under the floor. I have absolutely no dead in it anywhere. These are kind of loose a little bit because I have a few clips broken. So it's not ideal, but the difference is bloody massive. So let me show you the equipment that I'm going to use. And I'm going to explain it to you uh, what we're going to see. So first of all, I have a microphone right in the middle of the car, smack in the middle, because for this purpose, it doesn't matter the location. What I want it is to have kind of the same volume or level for both sides. That's why I put it in the middle, because if I'm going to put the mic here, that side will have to be on the higher level compared to this side. So mic in the middle and probably we know that with a car we have cancellations all over the place and this is what we have here as well so i did a quick sweep so this is left door and left kick and you can see that the door which is this one has a lot of stuff happening and the kick has a much nicer response so what i did i didn't want to use any eq at all or what i did i just put crossovers so in the dsp software across them 65 and 300 and there's no EQ, no nothing. The only thing that I did, I pulled the level just a little bit to kind of match them. And you can see kind of, kind of similar level. Now, I tried to figure out uh, what to measure because I wanted to measure a sweep and do the distortion. However, the distortion picks up only harmonic distortion, which the buzzes and rattles, they're not harmonic. They're totally random. So I cannot show you that with a normal distortion sweep. So what I decided to do, I decided to play a single tone, which I'm gonna show you just one. For example, this one. And I'm going to zoom out for you to see a little bit better. There we go. That's a single tone. So that's a 60 hertz tone. And I decided to choose tones depending on where these graphs, the RTA, 
interact with each other, like intersect. Because if I'm gonna measure, for example, 70 hertz, one speaker is gonna be like almost 5 dB difference from the other one. So for the left side, I took, where, where is my cheat sheet? 60, 83, and 180. So 60 here, 83 is here, and 180 is here. So I took three frequencies where I know that the level is the same between both of these speakers. So this is the left side, and I did exactly the same for the right side. The right, there we go. And for the right, I have 57, which is here when they inter intersect, then 70, which is here, then 100 over there and 200 over here. And what I did is I played these sine tones. Actually, I'm going to show you very quickly because there's a huge difference. I think you will be able to hear it even through the camera microphone. So let's take right mid-range. So right mid-range for me is the right door speaker. If I'm going to play a 70 hertz tone, which is right here, smack there, Generate a 70 minus a 3 and just have a listen. You can hear some buzzing already happening. Even through the camera, it kind of passes through, and we're going to see that on the RTA. So let me show you very quickly. There we go. So this is the right door playing 70 hertz. So we have the main tone 70, 140, and 210. These are harmonics, second and third harmonic. And all of this is the actual buzzing that's coming from the door. Now, if I would play exactly the same through the kick, speaker not the door so i'm gonna mute this and enable the kick mid bass and i'm gonna play exactly the same 70 hertz tone on the same level you can hear no buzzing at all and in the rta if i'm gonna enable right kick 70 which is this one you can see that's the kick there is second third harmonic and no buzzing whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna jump in the laptop because I took all these measurements and we're gonna very quickly compare doors versus kicks. Okay, so this is gonna be quick because it's oh, kind of the same. So 60 left door, 60 Hertz playing, we have something like this. Uh, the same frequency from the kicks, we have this. So from the kicks, we see we have a bit less of these. And this is the reason why uh, I cannot measure the distortion THD, because THD is total harmonic distortion, because harmonic distortion takes only harmonics. So 60, 120, 180, and that's pretty much it. And all of this was happening above, it's just noise that it's very difficult to say from the distortion graph. So at the lower frequency, we can see that there's not that big of a difference. Yes, we have a little bit more harmonics here, but it's not that big of a difference. If we play a bit higher, let's say 80 hertz, so 83 hertz from the doors and 83 from the kicks, this is where you can see the massive difference. You can see the kicks, I'm gonna remove this, we have 83, we have 160 something, and then we have 250 or whatever, so second and third harmonic, and that's it, and nothing else from the kick. From the doors, we have all this buzzing. So all of these higher frequencies, this is the buzzing that's coming from the actual door panel, the lock mechanism, the window mechanism, all the buttons and everything. So you can see here, there's a massive, massive difference, 83 Hertz. Higher frequencies, 180, we have kind of exactly the same. We have the second and third harmonic here, and from the doors, which is the blue one, you can see all of this buzzing and everything in the higher frequencies. And this will be audible, because you can see here, yes, the level is quite low, however, the frequency that you have it is all the way up to two, three K, and our hearing here is very, very sensitive. So you can see there's a massive difference. On the right side, we have exactly the same right door, 57 and right kick. So for the lower frequencies, it's not that big of a difference because the lower frequencies don't excite anything because buzzing is literally resonant frequency of whatever you have, like the metal pieces in the door. So everything is buzzing at the resonant frequency, which is much higher and not at like 60 Hertz. So 60 is not that bad, but if we're gonna go higher, 70, we already have massive amounts of buzzing from the doors, and the kicks, 
you can see there's barely anything. Yes, we hear something just because the right kick in my case is very close to the door and it is already exciting the door panel by itself. So I would need to apply some deadener. As I mentioned, there's no deadener and we can see this from higher frequencies as well. So 100 hertz from the doors bzzz, and 100 hertz from the kicks. So the kicks, you can see here, we already have some energy. So I do have buzzing from the kicks as well, a little bit, because that energy, that eight inch woofer has so much energy that it's transferring it into the door panel, even from the kick. So I will need to add some dead in there, but the difference is massive as well. You can see here, from the kicks at the higher frequencies, there's literally nothing. From the door, there's everything. And 200 hertz as well, slightly higher. This is the door, all the buzzing and everything, and this is the kick. So you can see the kick has, again, something, but not as much compared to the door. This is like a massive, massive difference, and this is clearly, clearly audible. You heard it even from the camera when I was playing 70 hertz. So this is the proof that kick install is much better than the door, just because the kicks don't have any buzzes or any rattles and the doors, no matter how much deadening you put, if you play a sign tone between 80 and a, I don't know, 120 or something, you will hear buzzing no matter what, unless you have door build with sealed enclosures on the doors, then it's gonna be minimized, but you would still have some cancellations due to the location, but yeah. This is my proof that kicks are much better than the doors. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.